So hypophosphatasia is a rare inborn error of metabolism that results from mutations in the tissue nonspecific alkaline phosphatase gene. And there are predictable patterns of findings that can present because of this. And the most prominent of these are respiratory findings uh, and also significant bony findings. And, and sometimes the bony findings can be really striking. These are patients who have the appearance of rickets. Uh, and because they have the appearance of rickets, they, they will have bowing of their extremities. And they'll have decreased bone mineralization. They can have fractures that are non-traumatic, recurrent, and non-healing. And those are all important aspects of this condition. And those are kind of frame the, the clinical findings of, of hypophosphatasia. And it's not limited to that, of course. And the diagnosis of, clinical, of hypophosphatasia is actually pretty straightforward once a person has clinical suspicion for this disease. And this involves the measuring of alkaline phosphatase, which activity which we do all the time. It's, it's included on complete metabolic panels. And if a patient has low alkaline phosphatase levels for age and sex, then you can look at other substrates such as pyridoxal 5-phosphate, which is the active form of vitamin B6, and also phosphoethanolamine, well, which is a particular amino acid that can be found in the urine. Uh, and if those are elevated, that's enough to, to really diagnose a patient with hypophosphatasia. So, once, so really it's the clinical suspicion for hypophosphatasia that's the hard part. Once a person is appreciated that this is, this is a risk for them, the di further diagnosis is fairly straightforward in most cases.